fair ah. use. This video was categorized as offensive. Yeah, offensive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my existence is categorized as offensive. All right. Fair use. Yeah, robot. So this is this is a very serious message. Very serious message. The Lord showed me in the room of the spirit where I saw Vladdy uh, doing a worldwide uh, broadcast. I mean, this went viral. I mean, the mean dear couldn't stop it, and. He was addressing the African Americans, is Vladdy. Okay, so she says she had a dream. In the dream, Vladimir took over the worldwide broadcasting system and his message was directly to African Americans. Okay, that's what she's saying. He was addressing the African Americans and he was basically spilling the beans like he ain't just spill the beans he was throwing them beans everywhere y'all like <laughs> he is he's not playing no games no more spilling the beans yeah y'all seen that video so y'all y'all revert refer back to my old videos to see what that is he's in the thumbnail it's crazy and he was telling the African Americans about their history and who exactly they are. And the Lord says that he's got to deal with the African Americans because they have to wake up first. Because once they wake up and understand, myself, some of us, yes, some, some of them know who they are. But the majority is fast asleep. They don't even care. Yeah. But when Vladimir no. You just you just heard him. Yeah. Okay. She said African Americans need to wake up first, right? He says, yeah. Okay. The Lord is gonna use him to do this thing. And when they when they're awake, everything else will fall into place everything else will fall into place and the lord showed me vladi just spilling the beam and telling them exactly who they are that they are the people of the book and that he's got evidence and he's got artifacts that is what i saw in the spirit now suddenly suddenly she said we're the people of the book no he's not cheerleading no more this is important. We're going to do three videos. Okay? At, at least with this cat. I'm glad he was talking. Now he's got artifacts as evidence to show that uh, they do not belong to Babylon, US. They do not belong there. This obviously caused a lot of uproar with the Babylonian countries, like obviously your Babylon US, your Babylon UK, your Babylon France, and all these other countries who were hiding a highest true people. And let me repeat that one more time. Now, again, although he says he believes this broadcast already happened, watch the previous video she's telling you she's telling you it's a dream and when this next broadcast happens or when the broadcast that she dreamed happens then it will affect all the western countries all the western countries will be affected by this right what i saw in the spirit the african americans they have to realize and they have to wake up Hold on, we had a commercial infection yes. So it's like a preparation. So because I said to the Lord, when is this going to happen?
But what I saw in my spirit is like a preparation. All right. So you have that one. Let's go into the next one. So this is level four. All right. So this section is prints and drawings. All right. As you can see, prints and drawings. Now, in this room right here, you could go up in here and they have a lot of paintings and drawings, right? But what I'm looking for, okay, I keep telling y'all what I'm looking for. I came here the um, day before yesterday to look for this, but a lady who worked here said, hey, you know what? They have this picture that I'm looking for in a private section and you have to set up a, a private viewing. My question is, Why? how are you just able to walk into the Native American section, North America and Mexico? Then the, 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 this, this right here is supposed to be here, but it's not. All right. She said, no, you have to make a special appointment. So I already told y'all how I got this appointment, right? So we about this. I'm on the search lineage. I'm on the search looking for the emblem of America. So come on, mate. You got to find it, okay? All right. Boom. Did he just fart? What y'all see? Can I just flip through the even our documents, everything was spread around the world <laughs> for us not to have this type of access to. So, you know, I'm just showing y'all this so y'all can actually put eyes on. You can go see this stuff for yourself. But a lot of people will love to sit behind a computer and just type bullshit because your emotions are tied to everything when it shouldn't be. People of all colors, shapes, sizes, whatever, should be able to sit down have civilized conversations without name calling and being fucking idiots. You know. So they stole your land, stole your name, stole your title, periodically killed off large amounts of you and took all your evidence of who you are and hid it in other countries in private sections of museums where you were never supposed to see it. And that's, that's your response. Psalms 83, people of all nations are coming and doing this to you, but your response is, oh, fair, fair use. I don't even know why anymore. I mean, it doesn't make a difference, right? Like, it's, it's our land, our cable, they used our shit to build their shit. Their shit ain't even their shit. It's our, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. I stand for what's right. But just keep checking this out. It's crazy that you have to. So he, he stands for what's right. So what's right would be termed righteousness, right? That would be termed righteousness. Have civilized conversations without name calling and being fucking idiots. You know, I stand for what's right. Without name calling and then being. And then what is fucking idiots class that's, that's calling someone a name? That sentence don't even make sense. And then he says, I stand for what's right. That would be righteousness. You know, the most high is righteousness. Let's remember this because we in the next video we're going to see. Now, he done set these videos up. These are, all these iHeartRadio DJs get on here and say, I chose these 15 videos, exactly 15 of them, for you to watch. Nobody else chose these for me. It's just like the fucking fucking radio DJ, right? And next up on the radio, we got, we ain't do shit. You just sitting there reading fucking paperwork. Pardon me. These guys want you to believe they, they, they don't agree on in the real world, yet they all mimicking SS Sniper Wolf. Tell me what you think in the comments. Hmm?
And so if we go to the SS Sniper Wolf channel and we start looking at the protocol, once she uh, once you get into TikTok videos and start reviewing, first you do all the the shocker, then you go to the horror, and then you go to uh, people singing and doing stupid shit. Come on, man, these people are. Are, are all part of what some, uh, some kind of company that sets up all this protocol for them so so if that's not what it is he wants you to believe he picked these videos and he chose the, the video to tell you putin's gonna tell you guys you're the people of the bible and then he picked the next one uh a, a man that 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 holds steady that he is indigenous here okay so the voice you are hearing is the person that i believe now i could be wrong but i think you know i didn't into this this was just i'm pretty sure who it is this guy i'm pretty sure this is who is in the video right now going through the, the museum he calls himself chief Kalinago. But you see, he got this channel, he call himself some sun shit. Okay? You'll understand at the end. Now, when you say Chief Kalinago, this is who they show you. I don't think this is the same person. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I can, I, I can tell this ain't the same person. They just have a shared name. Okay? So when I see these videos, uh, unfortunately, I don't see the video where we're listening to is right now. But maybe it's not here. Go, Chief Kalinago. Okay, so all right. So here we go. Let's go back to this video. Fair use. All right. Let's see what he said. Fair use. Because words are everything but just keep checking this out it's crazy that you have to really know what you're looking for or they're not going to show you they just dude they stole your shit why if if you were so powerful that a thief had to get together with another set of thieves and 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 a Psalms 83. It's like 11, 13 different tribal names right there, which would be nations today. It'd be 11, 13 nations, right? You count them. They come together so that you as a nation be no more. Right? So you gotta understand, they did this to take your shit. They're not gonna give it up willingly. Right? You know, I stand for what's right. But just keep checking this out. It's crazy that you have to really know what you're looking for or they're not gonna show you. They just always oh, that's the only picture here, right? Like, well, just this. Yeah. So when was this, um, what was the information on that in terms of when was it printed or created? I'll find out. I'll find out. Okay. All right. Thank you. So now that melanated people work at the museum, melanated people can get into the private areas? Is that what's going on? All right. So I'm in the private room right now. All right. Multiple commercials within a five fucking minute window. Let's do it right now and um i had to sign um a little waiver okay so um yeah man this is real it's real it exists it's in the british wait. museum in the private section and you have to you have to have a private um appointment to come see this They have the black and white, and then they have the colored. Ha. 
that's funny. That's that's just, that's what they say here in America: the black and white and the color. Wah wah wah! Hell yeah! Emblem of America. That's what the original Americans look like. Alright, lineage, I'm about to get out of the private room. Alright, as you can see, like I said, this is real. I'm here. Okay. I can't touch anything. So did he just call people lineage? W wouldn't they be strangers to him since he ain't got no evidence? So this is the whole problem. It's not the problem of them miseducating you. It's the problem here is you going by the ideals of all fam is fam. And then this man said, yeah, all right, lineage. This is a person that calls himself a chief. Has uh, what? How much evidence does he have that he's a chief of the tribe? Now he says lineage. There is a definition to the word lineage. So he's misusing the word on purpose. And see, this is the problem with all the black, the white, and the color, the misuse of these words to be able to trick people. Oh, lineage is your sons and daughters. Not somebody that you're trying to, 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 to express something to. And this is sickening. I think baby too, man, I can't touch you, but I'm here, I'm real. All right, and like I said, this is the emblem of America in the British Museum in a private section where you have to know what you're looking for to ask. It's not just on display. You have to make an appointment, show ID, and sign a waiver and everything, all right? In the British Museum. So this is what our ancestors look like in terms of complexion and you know what I'm saying? Dark skin, copper colored people. We are the original people of the Americas. This is your brother, Chief Kalanago. Trust me, it was worth it. So that's where he says who he is. So there's no mystery. Like Monday, Tuesday, I know our ancestors put all this together at the last minute. All right, one. Did you hear that? I want you to listen again. This is your brother, Chief Kalanago. Trust me, it was worth it. <laughs> like Monday, Tuesday, and our ancestors put all this together at the last. There's another person talking that our ancestors. So then we have to ask can the dead talk? So one more time, because this is the heart. All right, more love. Because this is your brother, Chief Kalanago. Trust me, it was worth it. <laughs> like Monday, Tuesday, and our ancestors put all this together at the last minute. All right, more love. Hey, what's good, y'all? So I'm about to get out of here, man. Um, Like I said, I found the emblem of America. It was a little journey, you know, back and forth, but trust me, it was worth it, man. And um, you have to ask yourself this question. Why is it that I could just walk in to this section like I said? Uh, we, well, we, we figured that out because they now have melanated employees. So... Again, people know that if you're on a vacation and right, they do this so to keep you out specifically when who is in control of the museum? Hmm? Black, white, or color? Which version of the print would you like to see? All right? So again, now you're gonna play this. Oh, the spirits did this for me. We won't get to this. Before you know, the, um, it's called the living and dying. You know, um, North America and. Mexico and you're able to see all these natives right but to see the emblem of America I literally have to set up an appointment for that and all sisters just work so I would presume they keep all the fake pictures out in the front and then all the real pictures or the real evidence in the, in the back and, and this is why he's so ecstatic he's not going to the British Museum and saying oh my god look at what's out here in the open 
all these the big deal is that he has to be uh make a appointment for a private viewing get out where they were able to fit me in like i was supposed to make an appointment like i said two or three weeks ago you feel me but as the ancestors to make this possible man to show y'all it's real it's actually in so remember these guys never say anything like the most high made this possible remember he said the ancestors over and over again the ancestors did this for me okay my ancestors just work it out where they were able to fit me in like i was supposed to make an appointment like i said two or three weeks ago you feel me but as the ancestors to make this possible man to show y'all it's real it's actually in the british museum and it's not just some random you know um painting on the internet you see what i'm saying so i was glad i was able to find that you feel me so hey um i'm about to get out of here today's wednesday um the 9th of august and uh i'm about to get back and you know hey man it's already a beautiful 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 day and i give thanks to all one sisters man you feel me so you hear it again so that what, the fourth time he brought up the ancestors oh i can be there we go love y'all man let's continue to to rise and come together and um let's make this happen you know what i mean this is about reclaiming our birthright you feel me america the americas that's our no it's not see again man this is about some kind of weird internet clout this ain't about reclaiming shit because first off how did you lose it you're told in only one place that's the Bible. The reason why you lost it, you're told in only one place. And that's the Old Testament. That's the Bible again. But again, you're not hearing anything biblical in this. Now, you've got to understand the division that's happening. We are to worship the Most High. Man, period. Forget we're the Israelites, and this and that. Man, period, is supposed to worship the Most High. Because man did not worship the Most High, the Most High said, all my other creations can run through you. What does run through something mean? So, again, man. Motherland, and we're not going to allow anybody to take that from us. You feel me? So we got to... You are in another country in a private section of the museum viewing the evidence it was taken from you. What the f did he just say? I see, this is the problem. Feel me? America, the Americas, that's our motherland. And we're not going to allow any. That's nobody's motherland. You are Afro-Asiatic. You came from somewhere. Asia is your motherland. Do you, not, do, you, do you see the problem with all this? Just chirping shit that don't make sense. And um, let's make this happen. You know what I mean? This is about reclaiming our birthright. Make what happen. You just made a video showing people in this museum is an emblem of America. Let's make this happen. Make what happen? I mean, the same pictures in America being the latest crazy. And you in this goddamn Indian fucking world, and you ain't seen that book yet. You could have bought the book and not made that trip. You could have went to Vegas, to the museum in Vegas, the private museum in Vegas, where you got to make a private. And and they would put fucking white gloves on your ass, and you could have flipped through the pages of the book. Sixty thousand dollar book you've been in this realm of preaching on the in uh, uh on the indian subject on the internet for some time and this is you see y'all act like goddamn astronauts y'all looking for fake fucking moons to stick a flag in to say i claim this <gasps> Motherfucker, they, they, if I discovered this, they, uh, I, can't, I can't even fathom. I mean, I've been there, but not there. 
I mean, I was going there, but the most high is like, take this instead, take this knowledge. You feel me? America, the Americas, that's our motherland. And we're not going to allow anybody to take that from us. You feel me? So we got to come together. We got It's already taken. Don't, don't Motherland, fatherland, don't, you're talking like them, man. Stand, we got to unite as American Aborigines. And that's what this is about. All right, peace, one love. American Aboriginals and half y'all got British last name. All the portraits in history of of the knights, mm, but now we're gonna ignore all that and we just you gotta love it. What is she even doing in this video? Just nod her head the whole time. It's Vanna, Vanna fucking white over here. Vanna black. I am frequency. No, frequency are invisible waves that affect things. And that, now you see the the the, the le can can you measure the the ignorance? Can you? Is it a straight line? Is ignorance a straight line? Do you, do you have to fucking wrap around something to to, to measure the ignorance? Is it? Uh, just discovering shit each moment. How f I am frequency. No, the line going through you is frequency affecting you. That frequency line didn't type that. They didn't design this goofy ass fucking emblem. I mean, y'all got too much fucking free time. Too much. That's the whole fucking problem. Too much free time. So here we are, this cat setting up the punch home statues. We we're gonna go over here. Um again, the images don't look the same. It was like he heard his name one time and you know, when it's that shit. So they practiced in Orishi. Right? Why would the most high give them their land back? The Orishis or natural uh, excuse me, forces of nature is say parts of God who meditate between other and humanity right so I'm gonna tell you this is all a lie here's the truth humanity can't commune right with God by way of trance and possession okay so there it is right there that's the truth they communicate with orishis by trance or possession. Oh, what do you see in voodoo? This is the problem. They won't sacrifice the God, but they'll sacrifice the voices, ghosts. What are they doing? Well, as time ticks, Time likes to take its sweet self up as time ticks away. What was secret becomes unsecreted. So before you couldn't find no information on the rem refams and what snots and stuff because they only want you to focus on that Nephilim. They only want you to say Nephilim, right? That's it. Nippon. <laughs> I got you, bitch. Uh, so in the Hebrew Bible, Right, the refait, refait, or refaim, right, refers to either a people of greater than average height, that sound like giants, and stature in Deuteronomy chapter 2. So let's take us right back to the Bible. Or departed spirits, dead. Huh? Shit. Afterlife Sheol, mm. following in the scriptures, Isaiah 26, 
What does it say in Isaiah 26? It says, they are dead! What you doing? Oh, take the earth, take the get dead! There's dead people lying this up to me. Yeah, they have shit to do. They went over there in sheets and they grabbed the pencil and signed your ass into the private section. No dum dum. Absolutely not. Let's, let me. Th th this motherfucker is a pagan. Pagan. Pagan, you voodoo pagan person. Oh, oh boy. It's also talked about in Psalms 88. Was in Psalms 88 and 11. What does it say about? This subject. Do you believe how pagan these people actually are? They sitting there trying to be cool the whole time. Do lyrics rise up and praise you? Do your dead Orisha voodoo spirits get their ass up out the grave and praise you? Do they bless you? Does the most must the most high praise his creation? Does he bless his creation? I gave you these lights, I gave you this food. I made you to the sand of the sea. Is your love declared in the grave? What are you worshiping? Is your faithfulness in destruction <laughs> right see now what they are what they are what are they teaching each other hawa and hawam sure seems like there's a you know, jock in the dead right are your wonders known in the place of darkness. They don't know your name. They don't know shit about you in the grave. In hell. In Sheol. They don't care about you. They blame you. Because if you waste your time worshiping them, you can't worship the most high. And then you is going to be in the grave with them. Or your righteous deeds. with the other dudes say, I do everything right. No, you don't. Just as all these people talk wickedness, and you sit there and nod your head. In previous videos, you're talking about how the spirits is your buddies, too. Nine ether. What are you talking about? Orishis? Voodoo shit? Don't call it that. Ooh. See? This is the whole key to all this. What else did it say? Oh, we should look at Proverbs. 9 and 18. What is it going to say about this subject? Huh? But he knoweth not that they are dead. What well, we call them the ancestors. Hmm? And that her, she's actually brought up here, her guests are in the depths of hell. You see that shit? <laughs> you guys got a video history of how pegging your ass is worshiping these fallen fucking, they're the children of fallen angels. So when they're in the live, they're the Nephilim, and then when they're dead, they're the refined. And you are taught to calm your ancestors, and they got nothing to do with your actual bloodlines. You waste your time worshiping the dead. But he does not know that the dead are there and that her guests are in the depths of hell. It's the same thing. She old. Hell. It's the same verse. Two different ways. For the smart and for the stupid as fuck. You're stupid as fuck words. Hell. Hmm? That's the only thing that they change. See? 
what else they say to go? These also talk about in Isaiah 14 and 9. Ooh, we familiar with that. That's Lucifer, whom is Hallel, whom is what? The son of Shakar and the son of Abaddon. It ain't that fucking hard no more, is it? From hell beneath the Rephaim are excited about you to meet you at your coming. It stir up the dead for you. Excuse me. Hell is a creature itself. It stir up the Raphaim for you. The dead, they can talk. All the chief colonagos, all the chief ones of the earth, it has raised up from their thrones. You ain't got no throne. You ain't no chief. All the kings of the nations, dumbass pagan. They shall speak and say, Have you become as weak as we? That's their own quote. Telling you how weak they are because they're dead. <laughs> Sorry, that's what they're looking All y'all in the same. See, this is what this internet is. It's a month. Was it? Was you go? Uh, 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 charisma machine, right? <laughs> fucking, huh? That's all it is. They're playing the game of charm with you. Is my personality charming? If I tell you the truth one minute and a lie the next minute, will you be able to see past my disguise? That's what they're doing. Oh, the ancestors to line it up, and the ancestors they're, they're dead. No, oh, man, that's just what we say. Well, you say some pagan shit, so then that becomes the fruit of you. You're on the internet. You're not saying, "Hey, I fix stuff." You should watch me. You're not saying, hey, I build stuff. You're not hey, I create stuff. You're not even saying, hey, I fucking read stuff. You're not here saying, we're Indians. I'm going to prove it. I'm sure half of your videos are just jibber jabber like everybody else. Nothing ever really on screen unless you saw it in somebody else's video. And there's nothing wrong with that because there's nothing new under the sun. But you're not an adventurer or a discoverer, so you didn't adventure out and discover or anything. You found something hidden because somebody let your ass know. And it sure wasn't no goddamn dead that, that, that gave these people the idea, her, to take your fucking identity from you. There are two main groups of etymological hypotheses so they don't fucking know. The first group proposes that this is a native Hebrew term which could derive from this root or this root and conveys the meaning of healing as the healing of souls living in the afterlife. No, it has nothing to do with that. They'll tell us in a minute, they're going to tell us it's got nothing to do with that. Don't fall for this shit. I shouldn't even be reading it, but I want to show that they liars too. Right. The second root denotes being weak and powerless. Hey, so that's what Tool uh, is singing about. So weak and powerless. See, that's so. Hmm. See, they singing about the same. So the fucking white man that did this to you is singing songs about the weak and powerless which would be the dead and you making videos saying i was given these important things important to you by the dead the dead made this the ancestors you're just saying the dead you're just saying orishi you're just saying voodoo Bullshit coded talk. Souls within hell, souls within Sheol are weak in the sense they hold no 
physical power or status as they did in the living world. They, they're powerless. Powerless. And you're, you're on camera saying, when the Most High say this shit is powerless, it's powerless. You're online going against the Most High saying they have the power to do all these things. And they do not. Which means technically you're going against the word. Which means stubbornly, stiff neckedly, you're going against the most high. Now, these pictures right here is a 15th century manuscript. So this is in the 1400s they was drawing this shit. So understand the time of the Bible. Uh, uh, when they talking about these things, it's, it's just a few hundred years ago. The same time that they saying, go to America and kill these people. Seize them, take their property. These giants was alive at the same time. Everybody's dressed in clothes. This nigga's running around in a fucking schmuck. 15th century, from Iran or Iraq, they don't even know, depicting Remphan, uh, Rephi Og. So they saying that's what Og looked like. A white dude. There you have it. I'm not saying it wasn't no fun. They just didn't draw no black giants. Well, they practice in racism and they don't want to show you black giants. I don't know, nor do I care. No physical power, no status as they did in the living world. Because all things that give the living power, that's the most high. Now, you see, you pagan bastards, are moot in the land of the dead. So the power of the most high, they believe, is moot in the, in the land of the dead. And, and its inhabitants are thus powerless and weak and must be submissive to actual Elohim. Don't you see what's going on? Her was an Elohim before she fell. Abaddon is still considered angel, so he's Elohim of bottomless pit. They only have power because Eloah gave them power. The Most High gave them power. The Most High is a power source. The moment he says no more power to them, no more power. The second group of etymological hypotheses treat the word Remphan as a long word from other Semitic sources. Shem, Shem, not Semitic, Shemitic language. Among the proposals is the Arcadian word Rabu, a prince, but this explanation enjoys rather limited popularity. Far more to support uh, support has been gained with the hypothesis which derives the Hebrew refame from the Ugrate Rupum, which denotes semi-deified deceased ancestors. See, this is what they're doing. Semi-deified. Who are mentioned in such sources as the so-called Rephaim. Despite the inconsistency between these possible meanings that are the modern translations clearly distinguish between Rephites as one of the tribes of the Bible and Rephaim, the inhabitants of the underworld. So, This isn't that hard, is it? When they're fiats, they're people, when they're faim, they have died when they live in the underworld. So if the Bible talks to the refaim, that means the underworld inhabitants came up. 
and they put the word Rephaim in so we don't read it correctly and understand the passages of what's being said. Hence, in Isaiah 49, I mean 14, 9 through 11, what is it really saying? The, the fucking, the, 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 the dead ones came up and sat in their thrones to greet this dude. So that's the that's the only power that they have. They have the power to show the living that they can still move around. Something of that nature. That they're just not dead in the ground, that they, they can they can still travel in places, but they're powerless unless they're in the underworld, which they don't have much power anyway. So they're 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 they they have a little power in hell, but when they leave hell, they're powerless. See, this is this this is sad. You little shit had lifetimes. You had a whole lifetime to study. You wasted your time playing dumbass shit, putting feathers and unclean animals in your fucking head, getting special fucking plastic chairs. You don't even got a goddamn $800 lazy boy. Special fucking chairs to say, I'm king of nothing. In the Bible, the Rephaites or, the, or Rephaim describe the ancient race of giants in Canaan from the Bronze Age to the Iron Age. All right, so, excuse me. So, here it says, many locations were named after them. According to Genesis 14 and 5, King Chedolamar, as we know that's wrong, it's Chedolamar or something like that. His allies attacked and defeated these giants at Ashtaroth Kar Naim. So, I was talking to Joe about this stuff, and he says, Joe says, the suffix uh, basically showed that giants were like the Kafaim uh, and stuff like that. So, when Joe's got some free time, we, 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 we might get into that. The Rephaites are also mentioned many times, Genesis 15, 20, Deuteronomy 2 and 10, and in chapter 3 and 11, the book of Joshua, many times with the war against them, the book of Samuel, you see it's uh, three, three times at least, the book of Chronicles, right? in the biblical narrative, the Israelites are instructed to exterminate the previous inhabitants of the promised land, i.e. Canaan, which include various named peoples, including some unusually tall and large individuals. Several passages of the book of Joshua and also Deuteronomy 13.11 suggest that Og, the king of Bashan, excuse me, was one of the last survivors of the Rephaim and that his bed, nine cubits long, is 15 feet, uh, and an ordinary cubit is the length of a man's Forearm, according to uh, the New American Standard Bible, approximately 18 inches, which differs from a royal cubit, which makes the bed over 13 feet in, uh, uh, I don't know why, in zero, zero inches, whatever. So, even longer if the cubit is based on a giant's forearm. No, it's not based on a giant's fucking forearm, because when the giant died, they measured, the giant doesn't measure his fucking bed and says, my bed, my bed is 15 of my own forearms. That's fucking ridiculous. It would have to be a man putting his forearm down 15 times. Now it's from the tip of the finger to the tip of the elbow, which makes about, uh, it doesn't make 18 inches, what does it make? From the tip to the tip, it makes about 20 inches. So it's 20 inches repeated. That's why when I, I did this, it's one of the first ones, videos I ever did. It's over 15 feet uh, tall. So that's his bed. You know, you sit on your bed. You got an eight foot, uh, eight foot bed, something like that, and you're 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 six foot or less. So you don't use all of that bed. So he's roughly 
13 to 14 foot tall because he's got a 15 foot bed. So <clears throat> now it says a knack, according to Deuteronomy, is also so the sons of a knack are the sons of giants. And now what? does the giant mingle with if he mingles with a man he makes this if he mingles with this it makes this and so forth man the refiates uh uh refiates are also called the m in m in by the moabites in deuteronomy 2 uh, verse 11 uh whilst the ammonites called them the zamzumim okay that's deuteronomy 18 so looking for giants in the bible you're not just going to look for nephilim you're also going to look for the rephites and the emims and the uh zamimims right now once you listen very close rephaim have also been considered the residents of the nether world okay so nether realm nether world here we go back to mortal combat and then sheol in the hebrew bible more recent scholarship right possible examples of the usage appear so they're saying so again they say impossible and they already know these are it because shades are considered what the dead right shade is a spirit uh or ghost of the dead person residing in the underworld now we've already read the bible in deuteronomy where it shows that and you were 32, Deuteronomy 32, right? You did not worship me, you were worshiping the shade. The death in the shades is also a word for devils. Spirits or dead in various translations. See all these from Isaiah, Psalms, Proverbs, some of the, some of the ones we already brought up, where a ref man may be regarded as dead ancestors or weakeners see what they do to you they weaken you now what do these people sit there and say online the ancestors help me right the ancestors did i was praying to the end what is this nigga sitting here with a giant ass dude fucking uh, uh voodoo bowl and shit I'm, I'm making something for the ancestors this is exactly what daniel had to deal with they leaving food out for shit they can't fucking eat making meals for people that already died. Weakeners, making weak Negroes, as opposed to Roth, Roth, the M, which are doctors. The Hebrew root to heal and the masculine pluralized, uh, plural normalization of the form of the deceased ancestors. Hey man. Hey woman. The minute you hear these ass clowns start saying the words that start to resemble this, they're pagan. I mean, by the end of this video, I'm going to teach you, you're being lied to. It's not about the information. It's about who's giving you the information. Some of you know I do not advertise because clearly this advertising is promoting the devil's products by, by his bought associates. What is their goal? It is all to waste your time and your efforts because with time you had the choices to do these things and you chose not to and you will be judged. Life is not about having fun. Life is about worshiping the most high in doing so. There is time for fun. You do have fun. You're just being brainwashed. Now you're acting like animals. You want to lick, suck, and fuck everything. Even the kitchen sink. Which means judgment comes upon me. All this stuff is just going to say the same thing. 
And you know, it's funny because the people oppressing you are finding unique ways to say this in front of you. And again, the people that are calling you family that are pagan, trying to pull you into this, they're using last year's model. There's only so many ways you can say dead people, dead deceased people. Long dead ancestors. They're worshiping the fucking giants. That's how that's how small time these people are. No. When you sit there and say, why do people practice voodoo? What does it do for them? Well, when they sit there and they show you, this is how much money I made for this, and this is how much money I made for broadcasting this to you, you can see what they're doing. Why are you supposed to maintain yourself and worship the Most High? They're supposed to maintain themselves and teach you to not worship the Most High. So they're making their money. And when the holy days come around, that, that's when the phone really doesn't ring at all. That's when everybody wants to hide themselves and act like an ostrich and ostracize themselves. From, well, I didn't know it was that date. Mm, I broadcasted. I wrote the date in the title. Well, I'm not there for Judgment Day. Mm -mm. You, you don't have to give me no excuses. I already know. See, I know what it was like when I didn't know. I know what it was like when I knew, but I didn't watch the date. I know what it's like when I knew I watched the date and failed to observe. I know what all that shit's like. But the only difference is, is now I know what it's like to know the date and observe. Now, what I, now I know what it's like when you teach your innocent children about this stuff. And then they know the date coming and they want to observe and how they'll look down on you if you fail to observe. Now, not only will you have to deal with that on Judgment Day, you have to deal with that daily with your child looking down on you saying you didn't follow the Most High's law and it wasn't that hard. If the child know it ain't hard, then what kind of excuse am I going to have? I, yeah. Fair ah. use. Hey, babies, it's Mama T. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of controversy going on about that book in the Bible with uh, the verse in the Bible where God tells Saul to kill all the people in Samuel. 13, 5, the Amalekite people, you know. That's real controversial because, you know, according to the book, it say God said he killed the men, the women, the children, and even the animals. Animals do. I always wonder, what the, what the animals do? <laughs> Makes you wonder. When do I All right, suddenly we're having some slow-ups. Slow downs. Now, if you could, <coughs> uh, I don't know if you've ever watched this cat before, but when it comes to sun videos and firmament videos, and, uh, you know, suddenly this guy remembers the most high. Now, what this woman is going to do is she's going to keep on saying, Things of the nature, this God is not worthy of worship. Now, I did a video yesterday. It was an hour, 18 minutes, and this was the subject. I, 
that's been an hour and 18 minutes on this video about what this woman is saying right now. At the end of the video, my wife came to me and she said, did you read this out of the Bible? Because you should have read this out of the Bible to her. Or in the video, it's not really to her. And I said, no, I didn't. And then suddenly I was embarrassed. I viewed the hour and 18 minutes that I did all the different things that I brought up to what she's saying as worthless, as purely worthless. Because what my wife said was so powerful. I was beside myself to say that. So pay attention. She's saying she's going to take all these Bible subjects out of context. She knows the stories very well. And she going to bring up a God that tells you to do this or this to children and animals, because we love animals so much. Uh, they love their false gods so much. They love their ghosts so much that they would denounce the Most High in, a, in the art of say it without saying it. Tell me you're a heathen without saying it. Tell me you're a heathen without saying I'm a heathen. Tell me you're a pagan without saying I'm a pagan. Tell me you're going to hell without telling me I'm going to be appointed a shitty position in Sheol. This is the game that they play. All right. So let's listen in and not play along. I'll, I'll rewind it a little bit. This part, this, for some reason, the computer is recording well, but it's not, suddenly it's not playing video as well. So. Let's go back a little bit, and she's going to make you wonder, right? It's going to be her little catch thing, like she's a little rapper making her little song. Ooh, it ma ooh it makes you wonder, right? Okay. Fair usage. We're just batteries. Even the animals. Animals do. I always wonder. What the heck? What? Remember the cheerleader over here. Remember this, okay? Remember, Proverbs is all... Proverbs is all about do not be street nigga. This may this cat made a little bit of internet money. Yeah, had enough money to take his children and family to got them anywhere on the globe, man. Get them away from this stuff. You bought jewelry in a, in a grill so you can be what? What does a, a grill do to, for a family man? You ain't going out. You ain't got nobody impressed with her. You just pretending to be street nigga, going exactly against proverbs, just like all these other dudes are. The animals do. What did the animals do? Makes you wonder. Well, I was talking to a baby girl about that, and she said, well, you know, those people was probably evil, and God just wanted to kill them. I said, damn. What the animals do, though? She ain't had no answer. Well, <laughs> you already said she's just a baby girl. So what would a baby girl have an, as an answer? She said a lot. Your fictitious baby girl that you're talking to said logically, they must be evil. If God, God could kill a whole world with a flood, he couldn't kill a little group of people. Why he tell people to go kill people after he wrote, don't kill people? Makes you wonder. Then she gone making more excuses about it. But we just don't understand how God's mind works. We just humans. We, we trying to think about God like humans. Okay. Then I said, well, what, what? Why God tell that man to go take his baby up to that mountain to kill that baby? Well, he stopped him. He stopped him. He wouldn't let him do it. I said, but why would he even tell him to do that? Why would, because he was just trying to test his faith. I said, why God going to test how much I love you by making me kill my baby? Makes you wonder. I said, baby, let me ask you something. 
If God told you to go take your baby up to a mountain and kill it, would you kill it? She looked at me and she said, So now we're going to, you understand, we just started with a commercial. <laughs> the last two, we did a commercial. I already put the speed of the video up. I moved the words up here on the first video. Something brought the words down here. Something keeps slowing the video up. And we're now with 10 seconds behind when we're a 1.25 ahead. Look at this. Playback speed 1.25. Right? Yeah. Hey, man. I, I, you think these updates are necessary. I'm, th I'm thinking that the updates are them getting into your fucking controls because they learn how to actually hack from the foreigners from india and shit they just the indians don't know how to hide themselves when they hack this is a piece of shit <coughs> and dear agent you know ass gonna die too you know you're gonna die the same way everybody else is because y'all is the one that's the most high he controls life and death it doesn't matter i'm getting paid to do this okay eat good keep freezing the equipment if you want to how can you freeze uh, the, the computer, but not the cell phone, because uh, they're not linked. Uh, that's what's going on. I, I understand. I understand. Your soul is dog shit. See that shit right there. Fair uh, usage. Y'all gonna listen to these voices that come inside your head and tell you God said you go over there and kill your baby, and you gonna kill your baby. That ain't no different than them boys that go to shoot up them schools and say. God said do it. It ain't no different to them babies that go in there and kill their parents in their room and say, God said do it. It ain't no difference when the women go take their children and drown them because the spirits told them that their babies was evil. And y'all say, oh, those are demons. So baby, how you gonna know the difference when your God do the same thing? See, God shouldn't tell you or test your faith by making you go and take your baby and kill it to prove that's that crazy on to it you show sure that's god mm. and if that's god what kind of god is that it makes me believe that there are many gods because it said don't worship no other god but me she was, she's there right there because it said so she done looked at it before she done read it she didn't been taught all these stories so the idea that she been taught the story of abraham and she's playing don't bring up his name because you say his name it gives him power right oh, god these people are so pagan i hope you understand what's going on now she's gonna act like she never got to the end of the story where it was never really god telling uh abraham the, the, the angels tell abraham that it was Satan doing these things. This is in multiple books. She'll bring this up in a minute. If I need to go find the answer and blah, 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 but you did and you found the answer and you know what the fucking story really is, but now you online acting like you just this old woman uh, sipping tea, spilling tea. But really what you're doing is you're mistranslating and if somebody never heard this story before, you're miseducating them on purpose. And then, just like every evil motherfucker, you're going to reveal your true purpose. So let me get out of the way so she can reveal her true purpose. Your God know that there's other gods. Oh, that's not with it. That's what it say. So now this, is, this leaves room for misinterpretations. Because am I supposed to read it for what it says? Or do I got to search seven, five books before and three chapters after in the New Testament to the Old Testament back to the New to make sense of what this God is talking about? And now, right. Remember, when she's saying all this shit, okay, every, everybody that's moderate with the Bible already heard all these stories and know the true meanings of these stories. Everybody that makes videos about the Bible do to hear a little, their little scripture. So now she's going against that verse. I mean, the whole time, the whole video is about her going against the Most High. 
It already tell you there are other gods. Don't worship the uh, the, uh, the Elohim. Worship the Most High. It already tell you that. You already heard her say that and twisted into some other shit. As the, the spoon goes around the inside of the cup, that's how she's spinning her words too. See, this is a witch. I'll prove it in a minute. Come on here, play the sweet old lady role. Now she done open up the door, the doorway of other gods, and she said, "Well, this leaves room for misinterpretation." She just misinterpreted those two Bible stories. What Saul was told to do, what Abraham was told to do, she just misinterpreted those on purpose. And then she. Then to prove her point, ain't she using scripture as she's trying to say these other scriptures are 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 are, are good? As she's saying, if a god tell you to do this to people or do that to animals, he ain't no good either. Okay, oh, okay. Well, let's see what you're saying about the god that gives you life. See, this is this is the funny part. Let's see what you say about the god that gives you life. Make that make sense, baby. And remember, old cheerleader over here. You know, man, I put out some videos about the ancient goddesses of Arabia. Oh, so now you use a video maker, a video producer, and you was making videos about the ancient gods of Arabia. Some of you be like, well, if y'all was so this and that and the other, how you let a lesser god take over you? to the Old Testament, back to the New, to make sense of what this God is talking about. Right. Make that make sense, baby. You know, man, I put out some videos oh, about did? the ancient goddesses of Arabia. And some of you be like, well, if y'all was so this and that and the other, how you let a lesser God take over you? Well, baby, ain't that what they did with y'all? Isn't this interesting? So, what do you think? What do you think the ancient gods of Arabia are or were? Where is Arabia to us? It, Arabia ain't no goddamn different than Iran and Iraq to us. The same face that's in Arabia is the same face that's in Iraq, it's the same face that's in Iran. So what do you think these ancient gods and goddesses? Now, if if these people came from, from one place and moved your ass out of Persia, Iraq, Iran, moved your ass out of Arabia and moved you into Africa, mm, what ancient gods do you think today was uh Mm, where's it? The Orishi? Yeah, man. It's the same fucking shit. It's the same shit. <laughs> so she just as pagan as the rest of them in her, her pagan time. She's been in her pagan time trying to influence people's. Huh? Just like dumb Kevin. Y'all was walking around here and say we ruled the whole planet. Oh, she's mocking you with we we was kings. Hmm? Well, if you was the rulers of the whole planet, baby, how they overtake you? I'm gonna tell you how. The same way you overtook us. See, this wasn't no God that was doing this. This is man doing this shit. Saying that God said. No, no, see, and, and, and this is beautiful because there's plenty, he's got plenty of videos with him talking this nine ether and all this stupid shit, which is the same stuff. Then you got videos with him talking about the sun, the firmament, God's creation. Why are you talking about God's creation when you're sitting here playing this woman's video? 
if you if your life was in, in on the line, she wouldn't vouch for you. If you was in danger, she wouldn't vouch for you. Now you, your soul gonna be condemned for these actions. Hmm? Cheerleading like a little, little groupie. And she says what? What you call God is no good. Well, she says what? Don't go and read the book like they tell you to. Don't study the book. Don't get into the book. Don't show that you're worthy of the afterlife. Don't show that you're worthy of second life after judgment day. That's what they're doing. Now, <clears throat> do they know each other? Is it a combined effort? Is this teamwork? Who would sit there and say, who, 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 oh man, oh, who would sit there and say, I'm an iHeartRadio DJ and I put all these videos together to teach you something. And they build, build on them. You mean learn from them? You mean build from them? It's just like to, 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 to overstand. Always going the extra mile in the wrong places. In the wrong places. I'm an Indian. Okay, get a lawyer. The guy that's in law will tell you what to do to prove your shit. You got well, the same fucking money you could have gave a lawyer. You got on a fucking plane and go to, go to another fucking country and be like, oh. Look, they got pictures of us in there. The same value you could have fucking uh, dug a fucking hole in a nothing fucking country where they couldn't fucking find you. Stored it and stocked it with a bunch of food. You got a bunch of jewelry and shit now. I make these choices. I'm just highlighting these choices. And it comes off as negatively. But that is what we're supposed to do. Have I not proven these people are actually pagans? Just because you haven't seen the 100 videos where he says all this shit. He's had 100 videos now doing this review shit. So I, I don't get it. You can openly, unless you are biased, unless you have a, a different, uh, an agenda. I don't see anybody having a different opinion that she's not denouncing the most high or attempting to deny the most high. Now, when my wife heard her say those words, I made a few videos about goddesses of Arabia. That's where Deuteronomy 13 come in. Fair use. Why would God need you to go kill somebody else unless you wanted to do it yourself? Why you gotta always rule by violence and rape and pillaging? Say God said do it. Did God say do it? Or was man telling you to do it? Then none of you want to be accountable for this shit. Y'all all talking about how 99% and 1%, the 1% ruling the 99%. Y'all good for saying this. It's the 1%. It's the elite. It's the elite. Well, baby, if the elite only make up 1% of the population, what's the other 99% do? Let me have as far as I'm concerned, 99 is much greater than one. So what's stopping the 99 from preventing the 1% from doing all this atrocities to it? You know what it is? You waiting for the day of judgment for that to happen. You waiting for God to avenge 1% of the people to save the other 99. sense to y'all. Why do 
is it that the 99 can't save itself from the 1%? Why is that so hard? For humanity to come together and stop the evil of the world if it's all being controlled by only 1% of the people. But then you want to create a boogeyman and say, that's the devil. Yeah, so so you, you see she going against the most high? Huh? Why is 99% waiting on God? Who formed you? Who made you? Who has the power to change your mind? Who has the power to put you in places that you've never been? This woman sitting here preaching a a, a, a fucking uh, a, a rebellious shit on two different levels. Rebel against God and re rebel against the one percent. Okay, so go do that. And when you don't know the the, the, the the codes to get into the bank computers and when you don't know the codes to get into the government computers and all the enemies that hate this place know that you can't defend this place since they already sent off everything that's not nailed down militarily. You go running. All you're doing is promoting terrorism. This Bible say, stay out of it. Now all those heathen and pagans like you, why didn't y'all get your ass up? Because there is no salvation for you and you know it. You know you won't be risen back up. Because you're going against him that have the power to do that. So you're, you're trying to incite other people to go and do what you want to be done as your dirty work. That's the purest form of fucking coward. See, I, I realize the power that people have. I realize the voice you have to have to hypnotize. And since everybody has a different voice, then it's a key or a pitch, i.e. frequency, that needs to take place. And you do not have it. It is not within you. But if I check the similarities between God and the devil, they they do pretty much the same things. But that's blasphemy. Mm. You know that. Y'all are waiting for something to come save you. I wouldn't be surprised if the beings up there is looking to see if we're going to come together and save ourselves. We know what's wrong, we see what's going on, but you're blaming it all for something because you was told to wait for something to come save you, so it's all accountability. You do a lot of fuck shit on this planet, then all you gotta do is confess your sins to this one person and you clean, while you go back and do shit over and over again. What kind of sickness is that? What kind of sickness is it? I'm telling you. Think of contemplating killing your own baby because something in your head told you to do it. And then you make excuses for the shit. That's scary. You talk about this and you talk about that, but what is you doing to cook? Okay. Correct all the madness in this world when you scared to even question it. You wonder why the world is as sick as it is. Let me tell you something, I was them beings up there I would wait until after the cataclysmic event happened and whoever survives it, these are the ones we fit to work with. Because the rest of y'all crazy as hell. There's no way I'm coming to save 99% of y'all. Only 1% is doing all the wreaking and the havoc. And you want me to come save 99 of y'all? Honey, I would not waste my time with any of you. I'd be like, okay, let's just sit up here and see if they're going to come together and fix this. Oh, they just going to let the earth do it. And whoever left, then those are the ones we going to work with. That's just my take. Mama take. Y'all be good.
Y'all go ahead and support Mama T, man. Shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? Look, this ain't about your emotions, about your feelings, about nothing like that. This is simply just about the information, you know, and for us to have these conversations. And I have to keep reiterating that for y'all know. I, I'm sorry that I got to keep mentioning this, but, you know, some people out here in the world that just not on this level of thinking yet. And they be saying this the dumbest shit, you know. So we just got to we just got to keep saying it for the people in the back. But look. We got to think about the hypocrisy that hypocrisy that we've been seeing and all the manipulation and the lies through the years. And like I keep saying, we've all been programmed to think like that or uh, they attempted to program us. But some of us just weren't going. You know, but it is what it is, though. Put your feelings to the side and just see the information for what there it is, is and do your own research and come to your own conclusion. Don't be influenced by nobody, not myself, not anybody. You go find these things and, and you'll see. So that's that's his disclaimer all right so oh boy so we know that they're practicing or shit or however you pronounce it right and the ebu right right so and we know that the orishas that they're worshiping are actually the rifaites the actual dead we now see that from a different aspect now we've looked at this from Jesus. What is Jesus? He is the son of the morning star that fell to earth a fallen. And he is the sin she mated with the sun at that time in that season. There are four sons. And since she did that, there were then three because he fell to. He became the angel of the bottomless pit. This is who they keep talking about. Abaddon or Apollyon, who is a, known in history as Apollo. This isn't hard. Jesus himself says he has. Jesus, I am Jesus who lived and died, uh, and yet I live. I have the keys to death and hell. Again, man, you have keys. That's to your property. He has keys. That's to what has been awarded him his property. Does he have the power that he says that he has in the Bible? Well, think, if you die and you go to hell because you're a bad person, he says that he can, what, take your sins away. So what are they getting punished for in hell? Their sins. Does that mean that you can live in the next uh, blah, blah, blah? No. That means you can live in his little palace in hell with him. If he is the manager and his dad is considered the owner right then the most high is the stockholder some something like that right who's got what more 51 percent of the of the company in these terms do people i hope people understand it i hope you know because again there's a hierarchy to all this is Jesus more important than Abaddon? Not to the most high. Abaddon is what? In control of hell. If you go to hell, who is going to have a pitchfork dipping your ass into the water? The angel of the bottomless pit. All right? So again, so what is this Jesus? If there is worse things than humans, then Abaddon have control over if we, humans do worse shit uh, than they should, and they do shit on the level of these creatures and beings, then they're not going to be in the regular human pit. They're going to be in the pit with all the other fucking things that are, aren't human. Experience and pain for, for the shit that they done did to people in their lives. Again, man, you, 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 this is the problem. You can say all this shit. Oh, don't don't have feelings. You look this stuff up yourself. No, no, no. You what did he say? You will be judged for your influence, right? See, and this is the problem with people. They think they can they can disclaimer uh, word they they ask out of this shit like a lawyer. Those lawyers going to the same place. So you know you can you can pretend the language you're using. Stuff to defend you. I'm saying, look, this ain't about your emotions, about there your feelings. Uh, actually, it is. 
it's about everybody's emotions and everybody's feelings. What gets you viewership? Their fucking feelings towards what you're presenting. Care is an emotion. Empathy is an emotion. If they watch you, they are emotionally involved with you. If you read their name directly and say, I don't like you. Period. You don't have to say, oh, it was the most belligerent shit. You just say, I don't like you in your broadcast. Their emotions will be affected. You can't sit there and change the fucking rules. You can't change what words mean. This is the problem with this whole society dictating this to you. You're looking at shit in the Bible for a location, and it's not the same language. And they make this shit called commerce, and commerce brings tourism. Do you really think they want you walking in Babylon, ancient or not? But if you take the time to read non-biblical, not in the Bible material, it'll tell you right up front, when the first Babylon was destroyed, they fucked it up so bad, they said, we're not rebuilding that, that would be too expensive, we're going to move it here. And that happened again and again and again. And now today, for tourism purposes, they say, it, this is where it is. And that's the level of this society, because they won't go to a book to say, Hey, I want to know something important. Let me turn to the next guy that has nothing, no association to that field that I'm trying to study or, or, or need information in. Again, this is, this is that society. Fair about use. nothing like that. This is simply just about the information, Fair you know. Use. And for you, you, can, you can't have no spiritual conversation about the most high and then say, oh, this is just simple talk. That, 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 okay, that, that, we're going to lower the value of what it really meant. This is the same thing when you got these goddamn, uh, 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 I broadcast for money, and all, they all sit there and say, this is for entertainment purposes because I don't want to lose the money. Didn't 10 years ago they call that a sellout? You're watching sellouts. And what happens when they lose the money? Like Perky, they come on camera and fucking cry. Oh, my last summer! I don't have Judge Washington backing me up! It's pathetic. You got his mammon and you came on screen and cried. All these YouTubers over the years coming on YouTube and fucking crying, bawling real fucking emotional tears. With this motherfucker, it ain't about emotion. Let them take your money away. And we, you gonna be gone. <laughs> they fuck me up. You gonna be on crying and pawning that goddamn jewelry. Why don't you monetize? Why don't you take? Why don't you get a Patreon? For what? So they can have an opinion. And say they don't approve and take the what? Money. See, this is the whole point. This is the behind the scenes schemes. They're all sniper wolves. They get in bed with these companies and they don't know the fucking company is Masonic. Now the company limits what you can say and then YouTube sits there and say, you can't say any of this stuff if you want to receive that money. See, this is what it's about. Your YouTube channel is your own personal filmography. However that's fucking said. And for them to say, will give you the opportunity to do this shit, but then take your videos down when you don't receive money, it's because you said something in that video that crushes 
the foundation of these lies. That's why they remove shit. And again, these are the people that say, well, don't take anything in these videos serious. None of it's true. You have your own opinions, your own thoughts. You knew that in the fucking first place. You knew you had your own opinions and the thoughts in the first place. What? How is that a disclaimer? For, this shit, that kind of shit just doesn't make sense. To have these conversations, and I have to keep reiterating that for y'all know. I, I'm sorry that I gotta keep mentioning it, but you know, some people out here in the world that just not on this level of thinking yet, and they be saying this the, the dumbest shit, you know. So we just gotta we just gotta keep saying it for the people in the back. But look. We got to think about the hypocrisy that hypocrisy that we've been seeing and all the manipulation and the lies through the years. And like I keep saying, we've all been programmed to think like that or uh, they attempted to program us. But some of us just weren't going, you know, but it is what it is, though. Put your feelings to the side and just see the information for what it is and do your own research and come. That's right. Do your own research and come to the conclusion that these people are all pagan. Half of them are group mentality. They work in groups. And they're getting paid through these groups, and their money funds the groups, and the groups are associated with wickedness to what? All this is about you. You see, he's sitting there playing his war, all these iHeart YouTube DJs playing the same fit video. Uh, uh, the problem is, is uh, the, with the, with the, 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 the war in Israel and, and, and Palestine. Well, the real problem that we're going to have is the African Americans. Pretty soon, you can see the whole thing has to do with us. The Gregorian calendar. You start the season in the middle of fourth quarter. It's winter. Start the year in the middle of fourth quarter. It's winter. Everything's dead. Just celebrating pagan festivities that have to do with the, the 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 queen mother of the West. It don't even have to do with no fucking queen of heaven. It's all a fucking lie. It's the queen mother of the West, and we're in the West. They've tricked us on every level, and these people, they're part of the problem, too. They'll do anything for money. No different than the dudes that have shows broadcasting whores, telling them they're whores, because they'll do anything for money, too. I'll bring these treacherous whores and just interview them for what? To reach my audience for money. I bet they take down that fucking video and they take they, they, they take the money off. I bet that 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 I bet, I bet I bet those videos stop. They took Perky's money to that fucking video stop. Fair use. Oh yeah. So now her video was about why would God tell you to do this and to do this and to do this, unto this and unto that. And uh, I'm gonna give you the basic explanation. Explaining it won't do anything. Showing you will be pretty, pretty good, okay? So here we go. I don't know how this is gonna do with uh, the timing. You know how this stuff gets, man. This starts loud and it turns down a bit. Baking soda is a white crystalline powder. When added to dough, it reacts with the acidic ingredients to form bubbles, giving cakes and cookies a light and fluffy structure. It's also used in livestock feed, fire extinguishers, and detergents. Baking soda is also known as sodium bicarbonate. Break it can down. be produced through a chemical process, or it can be mined from the ground. Uh -huh. All right. Two. Large mineral deposits exist in, in northwest Colorado, 
left behind as lakes evaporated millions of years ago. And stretch it. Mine operators dissolve the sodium bicarbonate underground using hot brine. Some perky ass the brine is a mix of the minerals and water left over from prior processing. They pipe the higher concentration brine to a processing facility about a mile away. Oh, my wife's coming. And 992. The brine collects in a holding tank outside and flows through pipes into the facility as needed. Inside, a technician tests the liquid Pipe and confirms soda. that the level of sodium bicarbonate is adequate. Look at all these all these machines they have for like a forty nine cent like uh, box of, of baking soda. This is some, some, some trippies. Then the brine flows through several tanks, <laughs> where heat exchangers <laughs> gradually <laughs> cool. Uh, uh, uh. Like this causes down the too. sodium bicarbonate brine to crystallize, making the granules larger and heavier. The crystals sink to the bottom of the last tank. I got so into that shit, I forgot to push play on the screen. I'm sorry. Oh, I was into that for like seven seconds. This forms a mixture of brine and crystals. And two. They pump this mixture into a device called a hydroclone. The yeah, hydrocone spins out the brine through the center. The I can't, so... Yeah, I hope you understand what's going on. The, the music is just it's too much for me. I just, I can't refrain myself, right? So... Crystals gravitate to the sides and sink to the bottom. This creates a sodium bicarbonate. If I put this music on and did the dishes, the, the, when I was done, like, somebody would, would make me redo it because they, they just couldn't get done. Like, you, you just can't play music like this and, and actually like do physical work like it just Mario music slurry it has a meringue like consistency slurry. the slurry is about 40% sodium bicarbonate at this point a lot of water has been removed but there's still work to be done. As the dewatering continues, the system recaptures spent liquid and pipes it back into the mine to dissolve more minerals. This we use in our society? The slurry goes for another spin, this time in a centrifuge. It rings out more water, transforming the slurry into something called wet cake. Wet cake. Now, cake. Now, this is going to lead us to a lesson like my wife pretty much built. Uh, just remember wet cake. This is going to have to do with the, the next video. Wet cake is 95% sodium bicarbonate. Next, the wet cake travels to a mixer that blends dry sodium bicarbonate. This is, no, this is... This is somebody's like it's a it's a like a Hindu Arab tempo, like like oh shit dude I I'm telling you like when they play those fucking like eight nine string guitars and shit like I did powder do, into do, it. Do. The dry but powder do, brings do, the do, moisture do, content down to three percent. Next, the wet cake makes a quick trip through this dryer to remove the remaining moisture, leaving pure baking soda. Pure. Pure. The baking soda now shakes through three tiers of vibrating screens. The crystals are sorted by size, producing several different grades. So they legalize marijuana. Wait till they legalize cocaine. This is this is the process they're going to be using. From brine to powder, it's been quite a journey. From brine to powder. Okay. So this is how you naturally make baking soda. Okay. It comes from the earth. All right. We're gonna watch this next one, and this is you know this dude. I, I think this will gonna be one of these uh, Freemasonic dudes. So. Um, Fair use. It's going to come in too, so let's watch what this one has to say. Oh. If you've ever made one of those paper mache volcanoes, you know that household 
acids like vinegar and bases like baking soda react to produce gas. Shit. Sorry, I forgot. You gotta turn up the playback speed first. Late match the phone. It's that bubbly lava. But did you know that a similar chemical reaction is what makes cakes and biscuits? Still not the same. Did it taste? It's fluffy. If you see a recipe call for baking soda or baking powder, that's what's helping your tasty baked goods rise. Baking soda and baking powder are just made up of different compounds, which can affect the chemistry of your cooking. Back before grocery stores and fancy cake recipes, if you wanted to make your bread rise, you needed leavening agents from natural sources. And by that, I mean bakers would leave their dough sitting out so that wild yeast from the air could move in. The yeasts digest sugars in the flour and make chemicals like carbon dioxide through a process called fermentation. All that carbon dioxide gas makes the dough slowly rise and create fluffy loaves of bread. Eventually, people started learning to save some of their raw dough or just some of the flour water microbe goop to kickstart the process time. We still use this method to make sourdough bread today. And without yeast, bread just doesn't have the texture and flavor we're used to. But around the 1830s, bakers started figuring out that they could create a quick reaction themselves so they didn't have to wait for the yeast to do its thing. That way, other baked goods like cakes and biscuits could be lighter and fluffier. So bakers started using leavening agents like baking soda, which if we were to use the actual chemical name, we would just call it sodium bicarbonate. Okay, so sodium bicarbonate. It's made from soda ash, which at the time- Soda ash. Now, in both of these videos, probably going to use them both again because these are key in what we're going to next next we're going to the cakes of the queen of heaven and we're going to find out they're not the cakes to the queen of heaven they're the cakes to the queen of uh of the west okay so pay attention please you know it'll be fun you're learning i'm learning from the ashes of sodium rich marine plants like seaweeds now you see this is they use it like sodium rich plants so likened to seaweed so not necessarily seaweed because again when you sit there and say how do you make unleavened bread it is not telling you they're using seaweed okay so it's something to do with like soda ash okay so now the, the question is anciently how did they get soda ash now we see that the burning leaves here and these leaves are sea seaweed leaves and we know that there's a little bit of a thickness to this right and we, what do we call it right um I forgot what it's called, moss, sea moss, right? And so, uh, like, let's go further. And then they take this seaweed leaves because it's soda ash. So they're really just taking soda ash. And I'm sure other plants give soda ash. So it doesn't make sense why they use seaweed, but that's what they did. Let's go further. Or it was made synthetically by reacting table salt, also known as sodium chloride, with other chemicals and minerals. Today, okay. the chemical. So, soda ash, or basically table salt, or some kind of salt. Now, you see that baking soda, if you put it in your mouth, it is likened to a salt, okay? So, keep that in mind. ...needed to produce soda ash and baking soda also come from mines. But the baking soda you find on the supermarket shelves is the same compound that we've been using for almost two centuries. Usually, bakers would mix sodium bicarbonate and sour milk, which is full of lactic acid, and the reaction would produce bubbles of carbon dioxide, Okay, so you've seen what's happening. You have to mix it with something to get an acidic reaction. And then that re reacts to the bread and that becomes what fermentation, right? So he's saying unleavened bread is bread that has not had a reaction. Because a reaction of salt of, of acid would cause leavening. Okay? Like the eruption in a science fair oops volcano. Those gas bubbles can puff up bread dough or cake batter, but the acidity of the sour milk isn't all that consistent, so neither were these reactions or their final baked goods. So the next leap forward in baking technology was in the 1840s with cream of tartar, also known as potassium hydrogen tartrate or potassium bitartrate. It's an acidic byproduct of wine fermentation, and when you mix it with sodium bicarbonate and some water, you get carbon dioxide bubbles. Cream so, now, you're seeing that cream of tartar actually had to do with the reaction of grapes. Now, <coughs> she stated in her video 
why would God say to Saul, or Samuel, excuse me, Samuel, to destroy this, 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 and the animals? Now, let's listen right here. Remember, <clears throat> how do you get something to be a mainstay throughout a community? When you're doing baking, you're dealing with family recipes. You know, some videos show, you know, you're buying family names. So we all know that things like Coca-Cola, they're what? They're secret recipes. Because why? How acidic? You know, you'd be shocked at it with the, probably the acid used to make Coke or something like that. So let's focus on this. And this is showing that to make a certain recipe, you have to have an acidic reaction. So he's naming off some of the things that are, cause acidic reaction. And a lot of these things that he said so far, uh, leaves of, of seaweed, right? Uh, because of the soda ash. And what did he say that, excuse me, um, cran uh, not cranberries, but grapes, right? Because of the fermentation, right? Now watch. And we'll see on the answer to this. Of tartar helped make the chemical reactions in baking more consistent, but there was one big downside. The availability and price varied depending on the grape harvest in a given year. For a while, sodium bicarbonate and cream of tartar were sold in twin packets, which you added to the wet ingredients when you were ready to set off the reaction and stick your batter in the oven. This worked fine for bakers, but the supply of cream of tartar still wasn't consistent. Enter the chemist Eben Horsford, who figured out how to make an acid called monocalcium phosphate from beef bones in 1856. Like the cream of tartar reaction, when you mix monocalcium phosphate, baking soda, and water, you get carbon dioxide bubbles. So, so now we can see that this SOB was using the carcass of dead animals. How do you get the bone from the, the cow? You know, amputate the leg while it and say, okay, we're going to keep this cow, but this thousand pound cow is just going to be missing one leg. No, you amputate. Now, when we go to this Bible that she talks about the whole time, what are we supposed to do with the carcass of the animal? Thou shalt not touch the dead. Have nothing to do with the dead. All that good stuff, right? What happens to the guy that has to dispose of the carcass of the animal? He is unclean. So. If the guy that touched the carcass of the animal is unclean, what happens if they put the carcass of the animal in the bread? It is unclean. You see how this is all going? It's not, they're not playing this. Well, we took some of the meat of it and we took it. And we, and we took some of the the fat of it and didn't. No, that's not what you did. You know, we took some of uh, uh, the bone, the part that's supposed to be disposed of, the unclean parts. And you're placing it in food. Now, remember, we read the book of Ezekiel, and Ezekiel got this prophecy. It lay on the side for this many days, uh, right over over half a year. Lay on the other side for the over a hundred, right? and then you know, take all these things, and then take some cow shit, and then bake it in the bread, and that's gonna be the food you're gonna eat while you lay there for for for, for a year and a half. Most high, are, most high, I, but, but I didn't eat the Gentiles' bread. You didn't eat the cow, sh the, the 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 cow carcass bread. Yeah, man, they want you to think this is two thousand years ago. You were insane. I've proven this many times. It's not. And you say, okay, you can use some shit from one of, from one of these cats. And what do we find out when you have parasites? What happens with this? Uh, it, it, they, they lay eggs and uh, thousands of eggs, right? The gut parasites lay 20,000 per day and half of, or more than half is defecated, but some remain. So what happens if you somebody has parasites and you eat the poop? What happens if a cow has parasites and you eat the poop? What was the most high telling him? Infect yourself with parasites. You're not seeing it, you don't have to. 
I see it. Why would he say the men, the women, and the children of this this particular type of people? Well, first we have to read which type. Are they giants? Are they are they half giants? Are they hybrids? Are they infected with giant's blood? What type of practices were they doing? Especially when it comes to food. When they do these practices, what happens when they go to market and all their neighbors say, oh, this tastes really good, what'd you do? Are they going to share it with them? When they all as a town do this, what happens when you go in the market and you don't know that they're doing it and they say, hey, we don't keep this our custom, our culture. Sell it. Make the money. But, but don't tell them what you put in it. What happens when they put in stuff that's just unspeakable? Now, whether you want to admit it or not, what do you see when you look at the medical symbols? Joe shared with us, that's the image of parasites. Lined up in a particular way to paint a picture. I've stated many times, this is our society. Somebody has to infect you. Then you have to eat it. And then it has to have time to grow in you. They tell you all disease is what? It's 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 parasite related. So it's the histamine of the parasites. It's the pee and the poop of the parasites on top of what? <laughs> That's on top of the parasites eating your minerals. Listen, you can play this misinformation game if you want. You're, you, the person that works for the company that pretends to rule everything, you probably have these problems. Just, I'm sure you have these problems just like everybody else. These people use grade D meat for restaurants. When the meat go bad while it's still in their custody, they release giant earthworms to take the bad. If, if you eat a bunch of dairy, milk, and bread products, then you're eating straight up yeast, which is an enzyme, which means it's an organism, which means if you have any other parasite and the yeast comes through, they're going to eat the parasites too. And if they don't digest the parasites because they ate so many parasites, then they just come out their butt, or, you know, still alive. And then they mate with anything else living, and it turns out, you know, is what? It just forms candida inside of you. That's different from in, outside of you. That's way different. You, once you once candida is formed inside of you, it's a, it's a huge infection. That's the same as having the white tongue and the white grows as an infection down your esophagus. Then that's they call that thrush. Then you have to take their kill everything antibiotic. It's, just, it's what it is, man. I, I can't help the, the reality of it. This is the big secret. This is the big secret. Now, you, you, you have to sit there and say, how deep does this go? Well, they take an oath to the angel of the bottomless pit. But they call him Apollo. They don't call him his Hebrew name, Abaddon. That's the bottomless pit. That's as deep as it goes. It's bottomless. Psst. Psst. I mean, now, I'll show you something. Now, what do we learn? Well, we learn that to make bread pop, Acid must take place. Okay? 
So here you got a Dairy Queen video where they opened this shit up and they found what they say is maggots on the inside. Now, everybody knows the difference between maggots and worms, okay? Now, um, let me let me take this to, to Google because uh, there's a good chance we not updated right there. See, they keep writing it in as, as maggots. So, gosh, computer, do you want me to pause it? You're taking so long to do normal processing. <laughs> it just goes black, right? Uh, so, one of the hot things on TikTok right now is Dairy Queen worms in the machine, all right? And so here you go, Dairy Queen ice cream, and you got, they say maggots. Now, here is exactly what's going on. It's misinformation, and I'm gonna tell you why. You can clearly see there are worms, okay? Now, if you've seen this, or you can see it on screen, it's not maggots. Everybody knows what a maggot looks like, okay? When they show you down the, the machine, it's worms. And see, clearly this is why they did this gummy worm shit, because <laughs> it's, it's, it's so that when you go look in the, the gummy worms that come up. So uh, this is the start of the video. Uh, yeah. Um, See if we can open the image and, and see now it's still pretty small and it's, it's not going to do us any justice but uh if you can tell these are worms not maggots this one is written correctly it is worms not maggots now if you sit there and say maggots and then the average person reading is going to say maggots maggots come from flies so somebody left the ice cream open and flies got in that's not good but that's not a big deal no if you understand it from my perspective which i've shown the information and i will discuss right now we just watched a video and the video showed when you put some sort of chemical in there that will produce acid, what does the stomach do? What are these? If you eat the eggs of a worm on some food, it go into your stomach, and your stomach acid is supposed to devour anything except these worms live in your stomach. So your stomach acid don't. It actually seems to awaken these eggs since they're serpents you see what happens heat makes a chain reaction salts make a chain reaction you see what's going on and it turns out uh, beef bone mixed with uh, and it turns out cream of tar all these things make a reaction so what happens if they what happens if someone is part of a group that's fucking insane and they work for her and they want everybody in dead because they control the dead. What happens if their plan was to infect everybody and then everybody goes to the hospital where the doctors take the creed to Apollo? Get, get it? Rocky Apollo's creed? So, your rock is Apollo, that's what he's saying. The Jesus shit is, 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 is it's not, it's not fake. It's just not what you think it is. And his authority is under his father, who is Apollo. Abaddon says, I hope you get one. So what if somebody, again, 
Apollo's son, is really Asclepius, who walked around with the wizard staff, and his thing was getting people cured from leaves. So what if somebody uh, worships them, they start poisoning food by putting in parasite eggs, you eat the eggs, the eggs over time grow, and then, right, you're infected, you have dis-ease because of the histamine and because of the mineral loss. Ask any diabetic, they already told you, your body already makes insulin. It's no longer, what, it's no longer strong enough? No, it's going somewhere. That's the part they won't tell you. How do they medically have all these parasites, but the medical association never changes the hospital practices to say, oh, diabetes, you have a parasite. Oh, you have it. It's in their oaths. It's in their symbols. It's in their signs. It's in their emblems. Now, somebody on the food end doesn't pay attention to how chain reactions work, and they put XXX as ingredients in the ice cream, and when they were mixed together in that mixing machine, it caused an acid chain reaction like it would in your stomach, and it woke up some of those eggs, and that's why these aren't maggots. Flies don't lay eggs in fucking cold shit. Hence, you don't see flies in the winter. What temperature does ice cream have to say? See, these are things that, that these are reasons for them to take down my video because I'm saying uh, the logical things that show what their plan really is. That's every reason to to not have monetization. Every reason to have the video backed up on another platform like Rumble so that when one video is taken down, it's still up in the world. I wake up three months from now and they tell me this video was taken down. Don't be alarmed. There's no strike against you. We just, yeah. Okay. If I type on my channel, they, they then left me in some form of their time out since, since fucking uh, no, uh, November of 2022. If you take our training course, I'm not your employee. I'm a man making video logs that on, on, a, on a platform that promised years ago that they that people could do that. So, again, all this stuff is in front of you to show you exactly why the Most High would say to Samuel, kill the men, the women, the children, and the animals. Because again, they weren't making ice cream back then, but they were using animals in stuff. If they purposely infect the animals then in the past, and this is what I said in the other video, what if the reason why he's killing the animals was written in the Bible? And then the, when the Greeks overtook, overthrew us, they removed it. See, Again, the answers are in the definition. You don't go and say, I want medical answers. Let me look in a regular dictionary. You go to the medical dictionary. You find your answer and you need more information. You don't go to the encyclopedia. You go to the medical encyclopedia. This is what's problem with people like us. Uh, I have a question about the medical field. Are you going to go to the hospital and ask? Are you going to call the hospital and ask? Are you going to look in one of these books? No, I'm going to ask Ted over there. Hey, Ted, what do you think about heart complications? And what is Ted going to say? 
He ain't gonna say, I have no experience to be able to answer. He's not gonna say anything intelligent like that. He's gonna turn to him and start saying, <laughs> well, I think, right, right? And start blah, blah, blah. Look at our people in this non-community. How they have questions about things that are very important to them. And they'll just ask, they'll ask somebody that has no business even hearing these thoughts. But that shows the level of intelligence of the person asking the question. You don't go to a gumball machine and start talking to it. You don't ask the single hairdresser what you should do in your fucking relationship. You don't ask women with many kids, should you marry this guy? Many kids, and you already know from different dads, don't even bullshit yourself. You don't ask people that have not made good choices in life how to gain wealth. Let me say that simpler. You don't ask the poor guy how to get rich. You don't ask the homeless how to buy a fucking home. You don't ask street niggas online who believe that the dead can give them anything. You don't ask them about any form of spirituality. To be able to talk to the dead makes you the conjurer, makes you the wizard. Learned this last night with my wife, the day before. Well, no, that part was last night. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the next lesson. This, 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 this stuff is so important. Unbelievably shocking. And this is, this is the problem. Even this cat, this cat, great personality. Most of the things he says in videos are complete lies. Great personality, very charming. But that has nothing to do with salvation. And your salvation is dependent upon what? What you believe in your actions. I shouldn't even close those two again. I want to use them tomorrow. So I hope, I hope people grow the fuck up, man. And stop listening to these internet dipshits that make money off tricking you and keeping you sitting still doing absolutely nothing. I don't want to participate in the world. Okay. Wouldn't build your own shit in some kind of category. I don't care if you make fucking furniture. Learn some kind of skill. It don't matter. All these skills that were available with all these people making videos for uh, that you can watch for free on how to fix this, how to repair this. I fixed my fucking washer. a $13 part that they don't want to keep at any stores because all the stores that would keep the part are sell washing machines. So you go to Home Depot, all the shit you can find on a fucking shelf, they ain't got this one little part that everybody need if their washer breaks. You go to Lowe's, all the shit they got on all these shelves. You're walking around your own fucking plantation with this shit. They mail this shit. It's in a box. A little box. If, if you sat there and said, oh, I love you. Here's a bracelet. It'd be like two of those bracelet boxes. That's how much fucking shelf space if it would have took. And since everybody got a washer, whoa, to just dock that back a little bit or even have two rows of that shit, that's how evil this practice is that they do here.
I had to flip the washing machine over. I had to, I had to watch one video. Flip the washing machine over. Unscrew two bolts that held a cage on. Unscrew one bolt that took the wheel off. They even sent a replacement wheel. I screwed it back on and everybody acted like I was a hero because it's just goddamn $600 for a new washer. $13 part. Nobody here cares. Everybody pretends they fucking care. The resources that you need are not at your disposal. Only junk is at your disposal. You gotta understand how fucked up this system is. You pick the store, I'll tell you what's wrong with it. You wanna know how fucked up these stores are? Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Basically, art stores. Prices three times the value of any place else. But if you know, you know. If you know they have a, a, a fucking coupon that's 40% off. If you know you don't have to pay the full price. That they have posted. Why do they have that price posted? If you're just going to come in and use the coupon that they provide. Don't tell me... Oh, that's for online traffic or for mailing traffic or, you know, how much it costs to mail and print all that shit. You're being ridiculous. You're choosing not to see the overvalue of, of this whole situation. The overstanding, you know, no, it's, it's nothing to do with overstanding. So, Again, good luck. I, I would really consider, you know, to just, just, just. Oh. I, 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 I can't. I can't. Oh, that's right. I don't have to do that. Oh man. I'm on computer, it's okay. So All right, let's make this strong, baby doll. Yeah. And we need a savior. Hey, babies, it's Mama T. Back yeah. with another one. You know, there's a lot of controversy going on about that book in the Bible where, uh, the verse in the Bible where God tells Saul to kill all the people in Samuel 13, 5, the Amalekite people, you know. That's real controversial because remember she gonna act all ignorant like she don't know this book that good, like she don't know these stories that well, but she just told you the damn chapter. She just told you the biblical name of the people that was you it was told to wipe out. Who most people just don't usually remember. That's it's not right. It's not only not no offhand shit. This is a skilled witch. You know, according to the book, it say God said he killed the men, the women, the children, and even the animals. Animals do. I always wonder, what the, what the animals do? <laughs> Makes you wonder. Well, well, I was talking to a baby girl about that, and she said, well, you know, those people was probably evil, and God just wanted to kill them. I said, damn, what the animals do, though? She ain't had no answer. I said, well, if God, God 
could kill a whole world with a flood. He couldn't kill a little group of people. <laughs> Why he tell people to go kill people after he wrote don't kill people? If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams and giveth thee a sign or a wonder, and the sign of the wonder come to pass thereof he spake unto thee, say, Let us go after other gods, which thou hast not known, and let us serve them. Make sure we all do. Then she go on making more excuses about it. Well, we just don't understand how God mind works. We just humans. We we trying to think about God like humans. Okay. Then I said, well, what, what, why God tell that man to go take his baby up to that mountain and kill that baby? Well, he stopped him. He stopped him. He wouldn't let him do it. I said, but why would he even tell him to do that? Why would, because he was just trying to test his faith. I said, why God gonna test how much I love you by making me kill my baby? Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For the Ishi, your Eloha, proveth you, is testing you to know whether ye love the Ishi Aloha with all your heart and with all your soul. Makes you wonder. Tip, baby, let me ask you something. If God told you to go take your baby up to a mountain and kill it, would you kill it? She looked at me and she said, See that? Would you kill it? She said, mm hmm. Ye shall walk after the Ishi, your Eloha. She was right. You should have listened to her. And fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. She right there is the problem. Y'all gonna listen to these voices that come inside your head and tell you that God said you go over there and kill your baby. And you're going to kill your baby. That ain't no different than them boys that go and shoot up them schools. And say, you shall obey his voice and ye shall serve him and cleave unto him. God said do it. It ain't no different to them babies that go in there and kill their parents in their room and say, God said do it. It ain't no difference when the women go take their children and drown them because the spirits told them that their babies was evil. And y'all say, oh, those are demons. I said, baby, how you gonna know the difference when your God do the same thing? See, God shouldn't tell you or test your faith by making you go and take your baby and kill it to prove that you're crazy. on to it. No, sir, you are you crazy. You sure that's God? And if that's God, what kind of God is that? It makes me believe that there are many gods because it said don't worship no other God but me. So your God know that there's other gods. Oh, that's not what it that's what it say. So now this is this leaves room for misinterpretation. Because am I supposed to read it for what it says, or do I gotta search seven chapters down and five books before and three chapters after in the New Testament to the Old Testament back to the New to make sense of what this God is talking about? Right. Yes, you make are. that make sense, baby. You know. Then I had put out some videos about the ancient goddesses of Arabia. Some of you would have, if y'all was so. That prophet. You know, then I had put out some videos about the ancient goddesses of Arabia. Some. That prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death because he hath spoken or she hath spoken to turn 
you away from your Ishi Aloha, which brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of bondage to thrust thee out of the way which the Ishi, thy Elohim, commanded thee to walk in. Thou shalt put away the evil from the midst of thee. You be like, well, if y'all was so this and that and the other, how you let it, let's God take over. If thy brother, thy son, thy mother, or thy son, or thy daughter, or thy wife of thy bosom, or thy friend, which is as thine own soul entice thee secretively or craftily saying let us go serve other gods of arabia interpretations because am i supposed to read it for what it says or do i gotta search seven chapters down and five books before and three chapters after in the new testament to the old testament back to the new to make sense of what this god is talking about right make that make sense baby you know then I put out some videos about the ancient goddesses of Arabia. Some of you be like, well, if y'all was so this and that and the other, how you... And let us go and serve these gods of Arabia, which thou hast not known, nor their fathers, nor your fathers knew, namely of gods of the people which are around you, nigh unto them. Or far off from thee, from the one end of the earth unto the other end of the earth, thou shalt not consent unto them, nor hearken unto them, neither shall thine eye pity them. You shall have nothing to do with them. If they said this to you directly, you already know what you should have did. Remember, the Most High said, I send these dumb asses to test you. Neither shalt thou spare, neither thou shalt conceal him. You hear this? Don't spare them, don't conceal them, don't pity them, have nothing to do with them. If they did it directly to you, it say what you should do. You're not listening to him. You're in a society that says man is God, as that same man that's supposed to be God is worshiping other creations of the Most High. They know the laws. They know the rules. That is why they do this. That's why every year they pray over this shit to a different God and try to hand it to you for free. Because in their book, that tell, they're telling them, how to do it the nicolation way what is the nicolation way to make it seem like it's a gift christmas saint nicholas santa claus give them gifts in the name of a false god Every funeral that you, the Israelite, have gone to, especially if it's one of your relatives, that, and that's the way you knew you was an Israelite, they all have Christian burials. If you ain't doing a Christian burial, you're doing a damn voodoo burial. You don't want to admit this. You don't want to talk about it. You're giving your family members over to her. Whatever fucking name she goes by in this modern time. She's still the queen mother of the West. And to remind you again, you are a member of the West. But thou shalt surely kill him or her. Thine hand shall be first upon them to put him to death.
and afterwards the hand of all the people. Now, when Paul came around here talking that shit, what was they supposed to do, Paul? This is how you know you ain't changed from them. You ain't changed from them. You under the politics of the what? The oppressor to keep your ass dumb. Thou shalt stone him with stones that he dies because he hath sought to trust thee away. To, excuse me. Thrust thee away from the Ishia law, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. And all Israel shall hear and fear. You hear that? Not be happy, not be glad, shall fear and shall do no more any such wickedness as this is among you. If thou shalt hear, huh? Say in one of thy cities, which is which the Ishi. Thy Elohim hath given thee to dwell in, saying, Certain men, children of Bilal, are gone out among you, and have withdrawn the inhabitants of the city, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which ye have not known. Then thou shalt inquire, make, swer make search, and ask diligently. And behold, if it be truth, and the thing certain, that such abomination is wrought among you, See, I want you to think about this. If you or me make a video about the 99% should go and take the cookies of the 1%, put them on punishment, any any type of video like that, you fucking need to take that shit down real fast, won't it? Why? Because you have testicles. And then they'll look at you as a leader. And they'll say you're inciting which means you're inspiring. You can't do that shit. See, when you look at this book and say, what is righteousness over this situation? This book is telling you he put it in these people's heart to go and test you. Again, everything about the world you live in is to make you yearn for more because of what they're doing with money and what you cannot do because of what? What they have over you, what they can dangle over you. And it's not money. It's tangible item. That's what it is. See, you're not sitting there fucking watching technology videos about, ooh, Here's, here's the iPhone, or here's the new Super Drill saying, man, I, I want to know how to be able to make that. You're saying, I want to be able to have one. That's the difference between us. You watch these fucking movies about families, and you say, I want to be able to have that. Nowhere in your mind are you saying, I want to be able to build that. You hear a poem and you say, good build. You see a family and you say, I want that. But yet, that's what your fucking body yearns for the whole time. And it tells you constantly. You ignore what is natural to you because you've been taught to. And you love it. What's better? A picture of a woman that looks sexy or a Photoshop picture of a woman that looks sexy? 
you can't tell the fucking difference. Which means if you saw her blemishes and moles and freckles, you might not be so... And if you took the makeup away, and the fake eyelashes, then you start to see her father's face in her, and then, like, real beauty doesn't need makeup. And true beauty can only be seen by blind men. It's a fucked up world we live in. But it doesn't mean you have to go down with the ship. You see right here what it says to do. And I'm not inspiring you to do anything. I'm saying, let us critically look at this video and look at what she's saying. And since in the video, she's denouncing the Most High for the decisions that she says she doesn't know, but she clearly knows the Bible very well. As she inspires you to go to what a different god now you have to start asking yourself how valuable are you that all this stuff revolves around you. You think they know you're going to wake up, you're going to follow the instructions in this book? Two hours and 30 minutes. I want you to leave today thinking about yourself but in a different way. They gave you a different title. They tell you that you're the people of the book. They pour themselves over and over with riches to give you something to, 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 to yearn for. They create a fake system of days called the calendar just to keep you so that you cannot worship the Most High. And then we have to ask ourselves, if gold is prized here, per ounce, and what's in your skin is prized way above it, And that means on the spiritual, the social, and the financial scale. All of us combined, the ones that worship the most high. And all of them combined, including the ones that are of our bloodline, but do not worship the most high we outweigh them in value when <laughs> they wouldn't be doing this to us. It's a simple equation. There's, there's nowhere in the book for us that tell us that we are this valuable. I mean, it, it says we are God, Elohim. Well, we don't even understand the true meaning in that word. Elohim were men and they died too. So 
that word can't mean that much. It, it just can't. We give the words weight and authority. Elohim, again, what is, <laughs> hate to do this to you, what is Batman showing you? They view you as a god. Do you bleed? If you bleed, then you can die. And then you're not a god. Where's Zeus? Where's Baal? You count off all these names, you're going to have a moment in history where they're all recorded as dead. Real gods do not die. From our understanding, they live on and on and on, like comic book characters. Right? So, if you're so valuable, why do you waste yourself as a resource? on them and their product. All of Babylon is burning. All of the daughter of Babylon is burning. And the only people crying are the merchants because they got nowhere to sell their goods now. You know how I bless your soul. And give you the understanding that you deem worthy. The most high meets your needs. No. You don't mind. I'm going to retire for the day. Try to stay in a peaceful state. Most of you are around your family members and people you, you care about. Practice being calm the best you can. And practice apologizing for petty shit. Because even though we might think that we're special, and we might want to live forever. We know not of our future. And if I say anything to the men that look like me, and to the women that look like me, to destroy us in the past, we were so powerful, the only thing that they could use was defilation, to defile us. That does not mean they overpowered us, and that means they used sex, they used women, and they used things that look like women. If I say one more thing to my brothers and sisters, practice self-control.
We're moving into the last moments of constructive society before it falls into the spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah. You already see the spirit of Egypt very well with many, many, many people, Egyptian artifacts, Egyptian temples. Soon, we'll learn the same thing of Babylon. They will openly call this the daughter of Babylon. Brothers and sisters, causing this, anyone who will listen, practice self-control. Shall I end?